What's going on guys? This is Pat, Dave, Mark, and Maury from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Well, today we got a Wisconsin brew. Uh, another one from New Glarus. This one here is their Belgian Red. This is a, it uses a lot of Belgian ingredients, wheat and so forth. Um, it's aged actually in their brewery for a full year. Runs in at 4% in the fruit beer category. Brewed with some cherries. Yeah, and from what I heard, the cherry crop hasn't been all that great, so this one's been kind of low production and maybe a little harder to get a hold of, so. Hey. Oh, wow. Definitely a strong cherry component. Yeah, definitely like, a, on this like a cough yeah. drop component yeah. on this one. Yeah. Yeah, I will say, it does smell a little medicinal. It, I mean, it isn't kind of complex like, at all. It's just like a Luden's. Almost like a cough syrup almost yeah, yeah. on this one. I'm it's getting like Luden's cough drop. And it's not yeah. bad. It's no, not really, really, no, I mean that in the yeah. best possible way. Yeah, but it's yeah, really good. good. Like a medicinal ah, cherry. I'm almost getting a little bit of cinnamon in the background. I was just about to say that, yes. Like cinnamon. just behind the cherry, you know what I mean? If it's not a cinnamon, it's a spice. Oh, wow. Like, there's there's spice. like, a, right. like cherries and spice. There's a spiciness right behind the cherry. There's got to be sure. cinnamon in this. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Wow. I'm getting a crap load of cinnamon in yeah, there. Yeah, I even taste. Me too. Yeah. I'm wow. Almost, like, if you would have combined <laughs> some cherries in an apple pie, that's what this tastes like to me. Is like, I get tart? apple pie with cherries. I tell you what, I, in an earlier review, I compared another beer to one of those, like, supermarket cherry pies. Yeah. No. Forget no. it. This, this beer is, beer is like... Almost exactly like that with, yeah. with some cherries thrown with some wow. cherries, apples, spices. Like I said, apple pie with cherries. You know, I gotta agree with you guys. I'm getting wow. cherries. I'm getting the apple. I'm getting the cinnamon. It tastes like a cherry apple pie with cinnamon. Yeah, and it's a little tartness to it. You know, there's a little bit, but not sour. Oh, not no, just, sour. just yeah. a hint yeah. of tartness. It's by no means a sour. It is not. It's no. not like American wild ale. And that's what makes it so drinkable. I mean, this is really it it's has refreshing and crisp. It's definitely like a candied, like confectioner sugar kind of. Yeah. To the sweetness here. There's a sweetness there. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, honestly, I'm getting apple pie with cherries. <laughs> that's all I'm getting. Yeah. It's yeah. a. It is a. It's not the most complex beer right. I've ever exactly. had. Exactly. But it's refreshing. It's, a re it's drinkable. It's a huge change of pace beer. Yeah. yeah. And it's unique. Yeah, it Let's is. Let's face facts. It's kind of unique. And I've never tasted of, anything quite like this. This would be one of those beers that. Not as a beverage, anyway. <laughs> if there was somebody that maybe enjoyed like fruit beverages but wasn't into like beer. Yeah. Right. You know, a lot of people think of IPAs or stouts when they think of like craft beer, but this could be a, a pleasant surprise if you busted it out on some <clears throat> people that maybe were wine drinkers or, you know, maybe enjoyed some fruit beverages. And even sweet wines. People who are not necessarily into dry wines. Like, I feel like this beer could almost win my wife over. Like, <laughs> for real. Well, let's not get carried away. <laughs> Uh, I'll give us a 4.25. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is really another unique beer that's really hard to, you know, compare to any other beer that we've had. Uh, a lot of these uh, bigger uh, 750s from Euglaris, a lot of big fruit beers, you know, a lot of fruity flavors. Uh, this is no different. A little more carbonated. Uh, 4.25. We'll stay with that. I'm going to agree with Mark. I'm going to go 4.25. I think it's a pretty solid beer. I mean, it has a real aggressive cinnamon flavor mixed with some nice apple and cherry notes. 
it's tart, but it's also sweet at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, a little bit below moderate carbonation. There's some definite carbonation there, but it's not overly carbonated. I really like this beer. I'm going 4.25. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you guys. Four and a quarter. Um, some of the similar reasons. Even after all that though, I still can't get over how much cinnamon flavor it is. <laughs> that is an incredible yeah. amount of cinnamon And there's flavor. not a You're drop right of that. cinnamon in there. Like, no. But I get a ton of cinnamon flavor. I feel like they threw cinnamon sticks into this beer. Yeah. I just yeah. can't. New Glaze is lying at this point. They yeah. did actually <laughs> put cinnamon in this beer and they are not disclosing that. Right. 